Hello everyone and welcome back to a new session. In this session, we'll start looking on different types of relationships between the activities. In the previous example here, we stop here. We had the work breakdown structures. From the work breakdown structure, we got with the list of activities, the duration of each activity, and the predecessor of each activities. And the predecessor here, uh, we only had the finish to start type of relationship. It means that which activity must finish in order other activity can start. Finish to start, finish to start relationship of the activities. But in the real construction on the real projects, we don't only have finish to start relationships. We have also other types of relationship that we will further discuss in this session today. So here we have activity A and we have activity B. Activity A and activity B are linked with finish to start relationship. It means that activity A must finish in order activity B can start, finish to start. This is what we have here. All these types of activities has the same finish to start relationship. What other types of relationship we have? We have also start to start relationship. We have, if we have activity A, we have activity B, and the type of relationship here is the start to start. What does it mean? It means that activity A can start the same day with activity B. So here is the start to start. They have linked that uh, they can start together at the same day, no matter how long does it take to for each activity to finish. Activity A and activity B must start together. This is the type of relationship between these both activities. And I don't look how much time it's required to be completed. Activity A can finish within five days, six days. Activity B can finish with seven, eight days. It doesn't actually depends or there is no matter how much time it needs to be completed, but the most important that they must start together. This is start to start. This kind of relationship is finished to start. Activity A, start here, finish here. Once the activity A is finished, activity B will start. So finish to start. Here they are starting together, the second type of relationship. The third type of relationship is finish to finish. Activity A and activity B are linked from the finishing date or finishing time. I have activity A and activity B. The, the length or the relationship between these both activities is the end or the finish point. Activity A and activity B must finish at the same time. I don't look on the start of each activity. They are not actually linked from the starting point. No matter when they are start, but they must finish at the same time here. The third, the fourth type of relationship is the start to finish. It means that activity B must finish uh, when activity A is the start. Activity B must finish when activity A is the start. And this actually type of relationship that is not common uh, use in construction or any other projects. But this tree is the most common and the most used type of relationship. It can be either finish to start or start to start at the same time or finish to finish at the same. They must finish at the same time. So this is in general the different types of relationship. If we have an example, this bar chart, this is sorry, gun chart. I have activity A, activity B, and I have activity c or task c i have activity a c b and c activity a if each column here represent one day then i have what is type what type of relationship between a and b a start here finish here then b will start here so it is finished to start as soon as activity a is finished activity b will start here activity b and activity c what type of relationship here is also finished to start. It means activity B will finish here as soon as activity B is finished, activity C will start. So this kind of finish to start the same as what we have drawn here. Activity, if we have another Gantt chart, I have task A, task B, task C, 
what type of relationship between task A and B, it is clear that it's finished to start. And what is the relationship between task B and task C? B and C is clearly that they are starting the same day or the same time. So task B and task C has a relationship of start to start relationship. No matter how long does it take to be completed, but they are restricted to be started at the same time. Uh, activity B, it needs one, two, three days. Activity C, it needs one, two, three, four, five days to be completed. But they are not actually linked from the, the finishing point. They are restricted to be started at the same time. So this is in general the most common used types of relationship between the activities. If we have we have something, we call it legs. Legs. We might have some legs with these types of relationship. The, the, the legs, it, it might have positive legs or we might have negative legs. So what is legs? If we have this type of relationship finished to start, activity A and activity B is finish to start relationship. They might have also finish to start relationship plus five days. It means that activity after five days from the end of activity B, activity or activity A, activity B will start. It means I need to have five days between, between the end of activity A and the start of activity B. So when activity A is finished, I need to leave one, two, three, four, five days, then activity B can start. So this is a positive lag. In other words, if I can explain it, this kind of relationship in words, I, activity B will start five days after completing activity A. So when I complete activity A, I need to wait five days and activity B will start this is for the positive legs for the negative legs it means here that activity b will start five days before the end of activity a in other words five days from the end of activity a activity b will start so i need activity b will start one, two, three, four, five days from the end of activity A. So five days before the end of activity A, activity B will start. Activity B will start five days before the end of activity A. So this is the, uh, the lags between the activities, between this type of relationship. So we have finished to start with zero lag. It means that as soon as Activity A is finished, activity B can start. Or we might have a positive lag. It means that we need to wait a number of days, can be plus two, plus five, plus 10. So this is the number of days that I need to wait before starting activity B. So activity A will finish. I need to wait one, two, three, four, five days, then activity B will start. This is for the positive lag. For the negative lag, I need to uh, start five days minus five minus two minus three this is the number before the end of uh, activity a so activity b will start five days before the end of activity a if we have here and um, if we apply this one on the gun chart uh, the the positive or negative lags activity a and activity b they have, let's say that they have a uh, finish to start relationship. So if we have finish to start relationship, so it would be finish to start minus one day. So activity B will start one day before the end of activity A. Again, activity B will start one day, will start one day before the end of activity A. This is if they are linked from finish to start. 
if we go for activity B and activity C, and if they are linked from finish to start, so what type of relationship it will be finish to start minus two, right? So activity B or activity C will start two days before the end of activity B. This is actually if we link them from the finish to start uh, relationship. So how do I know that it's finished to start? They must draw a arrow or they must show something that they are linked from finish to start. Why? Because otherwise I might consider that this can also this can also be linked from the starting point. Why don't we have like uh, this task A and task B, they can also be start, sorry, they can also be linked as, they can also be linked as start to start plus two, right? It means activity B, they might have this kind of relationship if they are linked from the start and the starting point. Activity B or task B will start two days after the starting of activity A. So as long as activity A is start, I need to wait one, two days, then activity B will start. So if they are linked from the start to start point, we might have some lag, which will be positive lag. So if activity B and activity C are linked from the start to start relationship, so what would be the uh type of relationship start to start plus three days right so activity b and activity c will have start to start plus three one two three so what if start to start with zero with zero uh lag it means that they are starting at the same time but here they are not starting at the same time they are linked start to start but i have three days lag so I need to wait one, two, three, then activity C will start after this. Activity C will start one, two, three days after the starting of activity B. This is start to start plus three. This one start to start plus two. So how do I know if it is linked from start to start, finish to start, finish to finish? They must draw the arrows that link between the, uh, show the relationship between the activities. The same also goes for finish to finish. Also finish to finish, if I have this one is finish to finish with zero lag. There is no lag, they are finishing at the same time. But we might have some positive or negative lags between the finish to finish activities. So if we have task A and task B and they are linked from finish finish to finish point, finish to finish. So what would be the finish to finish? Plus two days lag. If they this, if this stop here, like this one, activity C and activity D, if they are linked finish to finish, so this would be finish to finish with zero lag. But here it's finish to finish plus two. It means activity B will end or finish two days after the end of activity A. If we need to connect activity A and B, finish to start, so what would be the relationship? If they are linked from finish to start, so it would be finish to start minus three, finish to start one, two, three. I have negative lag. What if they are linked start to start? If they are linked start to start, so it would be start to start plus three. So we don't we don't normally have different types of relationship, different types of relationships with two activities. We must have one uh, one type of relation. It can be either linked from the finish to finish. It can be either linked to finish to start or start to start. You need to pick only one. They cannot be restricted with two types of relationship. Okay, so this is the session. We'll stop the session here, the different types of relationships and how we how we can present these types of relationship on the Gantt chart 
and the we went through also different legs uh, the legs can be with positive legs or negative legs and this legs is applicable for different types of relationship for finish to start start to start also finish to finish it can also be with positive and negative leg thank you for your listening i will see you in the following session